football they say it is not over until it is over um it is full time Chelsea eventually won the game by two goals to one Masti came from two goals down to win by four goals to two i have with me here a Chelsea fan and he's excited it's 90 minutes now this game what do you make how do you um, um tell me how you feel it is 90 minutes i feel excited uh, i was not expecting the result i got today because uh, the red card came when there was no goals but we succeeded that was the end of it so ended up scoring like two goals and that was a tough one, I'm, I'm telling you. Yeah, I hope I heard you that when you saw the red card, you had to off your phone. I and you were like... Because <laughs> I was three minutes on my, and on my life before TV. I was not expecting it. I was like eager to see so many goals from the game. But immediately I saw the red card, I gave up. I turned off my phone. But as I checked live score, I was seeing like Tuesday, I was like surprised. You understand? So I checked and I saw Sterling with two goals. So I had to rush to the view center and experience it live. Yeah, yeah, he had to rush to the view center and experience it live. That is the thing about football fans. You could not just enjoy it sitting at home. Now, do you think this team is well equipped to finish the season? Do you think you need more additions? Do you think it's just okay like this? Obviously, we need more additions because in defense, in midfield, and in striking. We need more we need more additions because we are lacking. That's what it seems. Because Konogala was from Academy and is not is not that suitable to play for the Premier League. He just came from the championship. So I'm not expecting him to perform totally, you get. So I expected the red card from the game, but I did not know it was from Galaha. You understand? So now um let me ask yes. let me ask for your prediction. Where do you think Chelsea will end this season? Uh from first to third, I would say like second and third, because first that's a long milestone to go to get. Now, now this we, we, we just saw this game, Man City. Yeah. Uh, do you think Man City will retain this Champions League, this league rather? Uh, no, no, no. I'm not expecting anything from Man City this season, except for other Carabao and other small, small clubs to get. But I'm not expecting them to win the Premier League. So the the high expectations are on Arsenal. Arsenal. Wow. Wow. Yes. <laughs> so they are they are they are really pulling it this season. Unexpected from them. Yeah, who from they will go to the Champions League. Coming from a Chelsea fan telling you that Arsenal has been tipped to win the league. All right, before I let you go, Liverpool trashed Bournemouth by nine goals to zero. Nobody saw that coming. Don't you think Liverpool can challenge for the league this season? Uh, Liverpool, no, 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 no. They, they have done it already. They have, they have won the Premier League already. So I think they are satisfied. That's why they are not, they are not playing with big teams. You get. So they just see small teams and they tend to try them. So when they see a big team like Man United, you know, they will just collect with Utu from them. Thank you. So a Man U, Man United is now a big team. Thank you. Thank you for your time. Now, from a Chelsea fan, he's saying Man United is a big team because they try. Man U won today. Man U won today. Man U. Now, if I will ask you, who do you think Chelsea should buy? The market is the market is hard right now. There are no there are no players on the market, but we hear Chelsea wants to buy Obama Young. Do you think Chelsea needs Obama Young or someone else? Of course, Chelsea wants to sign Obama Young, and they've already signed a player today, in case you've not heard. we signed Wesley Fofana from yeah. Yeah, Leicester City. So that one is here we go from uh, Fabrizio Romano. But it's remaining for uh, Obama Young, which I believe before the end of this month to sign Obama Young. But Chelsea is trying to play a game with Barcelona, because Barcelona is looking for money to be able to sign Kunde. <laughs> and because Kunde has been doing Shakara for Chelsea, we want to delay that day, you understand? So that they will feel what we have felt to get. So we are delaying it so that we we'll know whether they will leave Kunde, then Kunde will leave for free, they will sign Obama Young and Kunde. Yeah, so they are playing a mind game, Jesse and Barcelona, right now. All right, they are playing a mind game. Thank you for your time. Um, this is football anyway. I will promise you that will bring you the fans' excitement. We just finished match day four. There are several games to come. As I will play, I have a Chelsea fan here, and he predicted he predicted at halftime that Chelsea was not going to lose this game. He said he saw Chelsea winning, and yet your prediction has come to pass. How do you feel? It's full time, yes, ninety minutes. Yes, yes, yes. I'm so happy. Just like I said. At the halftime, that Chelsea is coming back. Just like I said, keep the blue flag flying, flying. We never give up the spirit. And we came back from 0 0, from red card down to win the match. Yes, I'm so happy. Now, if you are the, if you are the coach of Chelsea, which department do you need your team will strengthen? Do you think your team will strengthen before the close of the transfer market? The striking position and the midfield position. Those are the basic positions that are lacking in Chelsea team. Just like in the midfield, we struggle so hard. To get the ball to the, to give the ball to the striker, Sterling is doing so much because we don't have striker. So we need a striker, a very good one for that matter. All right, one more thing before we go. Uh, we saw the game Manchester City. They came back from two goals down, and I overheard some fans saying, "No team, no team can be two goals down 
with Crystal Palace and then you come back to win. Do you think Manchester City will win this league this season with their display and their performance today? Yes, of course. Man City is an exceptional team. No, there is no competition. They are winning the league this season. Of course, I'm a Chelsea fan, but I, from what I saw in, their, in, the, in Man City, they are winning this league this season. Yeah, from a Chelsea fan, he's saying Man City will win the league. Liverpool also won by nine goes to nothing. Don't you think Liverpool can also win the league? Yes, from the judging from the performance of of the of Liverpool in recent times before today, I don't think they are going anywhere with this in this league. I don't think they are performing beyond this measure. So Man City is exceptional this season. Liverpool will have to wait for ne next season before they can win the league. All right, thank you very much. We appreciate your time. It is football anywhere. I, like we promised you, we will take you straight to the thick of the action, where the fans are, where the excitement are, and lots of banter, a lot of excitement, fans excitement, fans disappointment. We will take you all across the globe. Yeah, you heard me right, all across the globe. My name remains Sheyusaya Moses, Amazing Kingsley, and David Ano, um, um, Deviano Babarazi. From all of us, uh, we are saying enjoy the rest of your week. Thank you.